You're about to sit down for a meal. A plate of vegetables is in front of you, but something inside you resists. You've been told your whole life, but what if that's not the whole truth? What if plants have hidden defense mechanisms to keep you from eating them? What if those greens you've been told to eat could actually be harmful? Consider this. Many vegetables, especially leafy greens like spinach and kale, contain natural pesticides and chemicals that can irritate your digestive system. You've always heard that vegetables are the cornerstone of a healthy diet. Remember those catchy slogans and jingles from your childhood? But now that you're older, you're starting to question what you were taught. What if all that was more marketing than actual science? Take broccoli, for instance. It's often hailed as a superfood, but did you know it contains goitrogens, substances that can interfere with thyroid function? When consumed in large amounts, this can potentially lead to hypothyroidism, a condition where your metabolism slows down, leading to fatigue, weight gain, and even hair loss. The truth is, not all vegetables are as beneficial as you've been led to believe. Consider this, multiple outbreaks have been linked to contaminated vegetables like the E. coli outbreak in romaine lettuce. People were hospitalized with liver dysfunction and some even lost their gallbladders. It's not just lettuce. Strawberries, onions, tomatoes, foods often praised for their health benefits, have been linked to severe health issues due to contamination. You don't cook lettuce so there's no way to kill harmful bacteria. And no matter how thoroughly you wash your veggies, there's still a risk that harmful pathogens like E. coli and salmonella are lurking on that fresh produce. You're trying to be healthy, but is it worth the risk to your gut and immune system? You might think, but are you really? Even organic produce isn't free from harmful substances. Organic strawberries, for example, can still contain pesticide residues. These pesticides can cause a range of health issues over time, from hormone disruption to weakened immune function. Did you know that even small traces of pesticides in fruits and vegetables can accumulate in your body, potentially leading to chronic conditions like cancer, reproductive harm, or neurological issues? Just because something is labeled organic doesn't mean it's clean or completely safe. Always ask yourself, is the risk worth it? You might wonder, think again. While it's true that vegetables contain vitamins and minerals, they often come with anti-nutrients, compounds that prevent your body from absorbing these essential nutrients efficiently. For example, phytic acid found in beans and legumes binds to minerals like zinc, magnesium, and iron, preventing their absorption. On the other hand, red meat, eggs, and organ meats are far more bioavailable meaning your body can absorb and use the nutrients more effectively. Switching to a diet rich in these foods can provide you with all the nutrients you need without the risk of deficiencies. Here's the truth. Plants don't want to be eaten. Unlike animals, they can't run away. So they defend themselves by producing chemicals that can be harmful to the animals, including humans, that eat them. Have you ever noticed how vegetables like kale or Brussels sprouts can taste bitter? That's a defense mechanism. Many leafy greens like spinach and kale contain oxalates, which bind to minerals and can contribute to kidney stones over time. Nightshades like tomatoes and eggplants contain solanine, a substance that can trigger inflammation, joint pain, and digestive issues in sensitive individuals. Plants fight back by making themselves less digestible and more toxic. Kale is often hailed as the king of superfoods. You see it everywhere in salads, smoothies, and even fast food menus. But did you know that kale can harm your thyroid, slowing down your metabolism? This is due to the high levels of goitrogens in kale, which can interfere with your thyroid's ability to absorb iodine, leading to potential thyroid problems like hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism can cause a range of symptoms from fatigue and weight gain to hair loss and depression. Are you sure that kale smoothie is worth the risk to your thyroid health? And then there's celery juice. Celebrities and influencers swear by it, drinking a full glass every morning. But what you might not realize is that consuming too much celery has been linked to sun sensitivity, asthma, and even male infertility. High amounts of celery also contain sorolins, compounds that make your skin more sensitive to sunlight, increasing your risk of sunburn or even skin cancer. Celery juice is another fad that seems healthy on the surface but can cause more harm than good. Just because something is trending doesn't mean it's scientifically sound. Plants want you to eat their fruit, not their leaves or stems. Why? because when you eat fruit, you help them spread their seeds. That's why fruit is sweet and delicious, while vegetables tend to be bitter. Goitrogens in vegetables like broccoli and Brussels sprouts can interfere with your body's ability to produce thyroid hormones, impacting your energy levels, metabolism, and overall health. Fruits, on the other hand, are designed to attract animals, offering a sweeter, safer option that benefits both the plant and the animal. 
If you're going to eat plant-based foods, focus on ripe fruits and avoid the bitter greens. You might think that green smoothies are packed with vitamins and minerals, but here's the reality. Your body can only absorb a fraction of those nutrients. Take spinach, for instance. It's often touted as a great source of iron, but studies show that humans absorb only 1 to 10% of the iron in spinach due to the high levels of oxalates. In contrast, red meat is one of the most bioavailable sources of iron. Your body absorbs up to 30% of the iron in meat, making it a far more efficient way to meet your nutritional needs. So that superfood smoothie? It's not giving you nearly as much as you think. So what should you be eating? Focus on nutrient-dense foods like fatty red meat, eggs, and animal organs. These foods are packed with vitamins and minerals that your body can easily absorb and use. If you're worried about missing out on fiber, soluble fiber from fruits and root vegetables like carrots and potatoes is all your gut needs to stay healthy. Many people report feeling more energetic and vibrant after cutting out vegetables altogether. By focusing on high-quality animal-based foods, you can nourish your body without the risks that come with plant-based defenses. It's time to rethink everything you thought you knew about vegetables. They're not the health miracle you've been led to believe. The truth is, your body thrives on animal-based foods, not the bitter, toxic leaves of plants. So the next time you're faced with a plate of greens, ask yourself, is this really what my body needs? If you found this information helpful and want to learn more about how to take control of your health and nutrition, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment below if you've experienced any changes by adjusting your diet, and make sure to click the notification bell so you never miss an update on our latest videos. Thanks for watching and remember, your health starts with what's on your plate.